Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher and this is Sweetwater's iOS Update. This time out, I've got two apps that recreate synthesizers from the vintage era. Let's get started. One of the things I've been noticing with synthesizer apps that are coming out for iOS devices is that a lot of vintage synths are being recreated here. We saw that happen with plugins on computers, and now that's coming over to iOS. For example, today, I've got a new iMini app from Arturia. The iMini app recreates the classic Moog Mini Moog synthesizer. It has basically all the same features. We've got three oscillators, we've got a noise source, we've got a mixer here, envelope generators, filters, all the things you would expect to have on an analog mini Moog. In addition to all the standard analog features you'd expect from a mini Moog, we have all the additional features that the digital worlds brings to the table. For example, we've got presets here where we can store in our favorite sounds. We've got a perform menu where we have two XY pads that we can use to manipulate the filter in real time. We can remember those and play those back. We've got an arpeggiator that we can control over here. And we've also got effects built in. So we've got a chorus effect, we've got a delay effect, and we can mix those in using these knobs here on the right. Now, in addition to those controls, we have one more screen, and that's the connect screen. That drops down here. It's where we can set our global tempo. We can connect to another iOS device using WIST. We have a MIDI learn function here, so you can control parameters using an external MIDI controller. The last two connections here make the iMini compatible with Tabletop, which was the app we looked at last week. So you have an input and output for loading that into the Tabletop environment. The iMini comes loaded up with a lot of different presets. Let's check out a few of the different sounds. We just tap the load button. That opens up a list of all the banks that are available. A lot of sounds come with this. Everything from all the factory banks. We've got percussive sounds. We've got lead sounds. We have horn sounds. Now, a lot of these sounds are polyphonic. So even though the Mini Moog itself is a monophonic instrument, we can play chords with some of the sounds that are loaded in as presets. And of course, we also have all the classic Moog sounds. We've got the uh, bass sounds. Classic Mini Moog tones. We do have Glide available there, Portamento. So all the things you'd expect to have in a Mini Moog are available in iMini from Arturia. Our second app today is DXi, which recreates the sounds of classic Yamaha FM-based synthesizers. FM Synthesis uses a variety of different algorithms for creating its sounds. Those algorithms combine together different operators and different arrangements, and the way that those operators are feeding each other results in the timbres that you hear. In DXi, we have eight different algorithms. You can scroll through those here, and you can see the arrangement of the operators change as you do that. Now we also have control for each of the operators within the algorithm. We have a feedback control, we have a frequency control, and so you can affect what's happening between all those operators and as they're interacting. Now originally FM Synthesis used only sine waves in the operators. With DXI, you can actually load in different waveforms into each oscillator. So we have waveforms that are available here, complex waveforms, square waves, saw wave, triangle, white noise. So that really expands the range of timbres that you can create. For shaping the sound, we have an envelope available for each of the oscillators, and those are shown here. You can affect those by simply clicking and dragging on those. We also have an effect built in. There's a delay here. We have a filter cutoff, so you can sort of do analog type things along with that delay effect. We do have a recorder where you can record a stereo track in, and then you can export that using audio copy. We also have a sequencer. It's a 16-step sequencer. You can use it to create different patterns that will play back using the sounds in DXi. Let's listen to some of the sounds that come in DXi. To my ears, this reminds me more of the sounds that we used to get with the TX81Z, which was a four operator module with multiple waveforms. Here we've got a synthesizer bass. If you compare that sound to what was coming out of the iMini, you can see the difference with using FM synthesis versus using that modeled analog synthesis. Here we've got a bell, which of course is something that FM synthesis excels at. Now that's very dry, so we could choose to open up our delay, and turn that up a little bit. There also are string pad type sounds, digital piano type sounds, We've got pads, lead sounds, more bass sounds. So a wide variety of sounds are available in DXi, and they're very different, again, from what you'd hear in a model analog synth or in some of the other synthesizer apps that we've seen for iOS devices. 
So with apps like Arturia's iMini, DXi, and some of the other ones that are out there, it's very easy to build up a library of synthesizers running on your iOS device to let you capture a lot of those vintage tones. Very useful tools to have in your musician's toolbox. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Sweetwater's iOS update. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more apps, hardware accessories, and tech tips on making music with your iOS devices. I'm Mitch Gallagher.